女士们、先生们 ，OPPO Find N 全新折叠旗舰新品发布会现在开始。根据疫情防控要求，活动期间请您全程佩戴口罩。According to the quarantine arrangement, please wear your mask throughout this event. 有请。Now let's welcome Peter Lau, SBP Chief Product Officer of OPPO. Wow, wow, wow! Such a crowd. Thank you so much for coming to the launch of our new product. I'm so excited. This is my debut on an official occasion since I returned to OPPO. There's another reason for my excitement. We will present to you an all-new product result of four years of dedication. It gives me the most exciting product development experiences over the recent years. I have so many stories to tell. If I overrun the agenda, please do understand that. I was told by the team that I only have one hour, but I may overrun it to one hour and a half. Forgive me for that. Thank you so much. Shilin, you are playing the phone. Do you remember what I told you just now? Okay, just joking for you. Okay, let me now present to you this new product. Before that, let's review the 10 years of our journey of developing smartphones. Over the past decade, there is a prominent change in industry. The display has become larger and larger from 3.5 inches as the perfect size as said by Steve Jobs. Now to 6.7 inches or 6.5 inches, larger and larger. In the information age, the display of your phone has become the primary source of information. Uh, but, you know, it is the larger, the better, and the more comfortable. The reason is very simple. In that connection, how can we make the screen even larger? I've even seen some seven-inch phones. Normal people would not use it. We have come up with a lot of ways to do away with the jaw, the notch, or the hole of the front camera, and trim off the rims by another 0.1 inch. Now we have come to the stage of bottleneck. Now a new change has come, affordable or rollable screens. They have brought, out, brought out a lot of brand new or different experiences from the traditional phones. Very early on, OPPO spotted this trend. Then four years ago, we invested a lot of resources in its R&D. In April 2018, we developed our first foldable phone. Back then, technology wasn't ready yet. There was a lot of issues with the reliability, so we didn't ship it to market and it chose to continue our research. It has gone through as many as six generations over four years. Now it is time for us to show it to you. So these are the, the sketches of these are six generations to make them more presentable. Um, you know, we have uh, hided some details, um, but you can see the prototypes for engineering in the experience area in this room. Indeed, our engineers waited for four years. We made designs and scrapped them 
just in order to develop our ideal phone for you. Now it's time for me to you know, showcase that to you. How do you like it? Isn't it sleek? It has been many years that we haven't got such experience. So the foldable screen gives you the experience of large display, but still you can control it within a single-handed grip. Once uh, folded, it is perfectly under your control within just your grip. It has been a long-missed feeling. I can assure you a one graceful move. If you use it after your use, fold it, then gracefully insert it into your pocket. Have you got it? The four? No way. I can tell that. This size is so comfortable. Once uh, folded, it's like a small screen phone, nicely fitting into your grip. Once unfolded, it's a large screen still within your uh, single hand grip. It has been a long missing feeling. So, this is a major innovation on form factor. Let's start with that. What is tricky about it? In the Android system, things are designed for the traditional bar type with the vertical screen. Once you unfold it, the simplest way is to make it a long and a thin form factor. Once you unfold it, once you fold it, it will be as narrow as a remote control. You know, you fold it by half, it will be a narrow remoter to make the front size the size of a normal phone. The, it will be as heavy and bulky as a brick. So that is a big dilemma to achieve affordability. So what is the optimal size? That is vital. Once folded or unfolded, the phone must be easy to handle and use. We have done a lot. We have did a lot of refinement and uh, uh, models. There are two basic principles for us to develop this product. First, so it must be handy to use, folded or unfolded. You know, you, you buy this, of course you want to experience in the large screen. What is funny is that we did ask a lot of users of foldable screens. Indeed, in our mass survey, what surprised us is that 90% of the usage time was when the phone is folded. So that is ironic. You buy a foldable phone, but most of the time you use it when you fold the phone. Is it just to show off? So it must be usable, folded or unfolded. So that is a basic requirement for this product. Second, it must be good looking. You know, brick or remoter, 
aren't pretty to look and not what we would like to offer. In Opal, beauty comes first. It must also deliver good hand feel. Those who know me know that I'm so picky about hand feel. There's a punchline, so you may wonder whether I will repeat it. I will say it gently. It feels so good in the hand. Over the years, we keep trying to achieve the dilemma. Then we resolved it by this golden ratio of folding. We call it a golden ratio because of the following reasons. Once folded, it is a phone of 5.49 inch display. You know, the same size as the iPhone. Its ratio is 18 to 9, just a normal ratio. When you need to just uh, quickly reply a WeChat message, you can do it easily without any difficulty with the outer screen. Once unfolded, the large display will be also comfortable in your grip. And, you know, folded or unfolded, the hand feel will be both good. Also, thanks to the little curve, the uh, width is 73 meter, so the grip is so comfortable. And the screen size is 7.1 inch. It feels like a book. When you open a, a screen, what is the thing that will come into your mind intuitively? A book, right? That is the best possible experience. Later, I will elaborate why the horizontal display will be able to convey a lot. The size is 7.1 inch. It, by the number, it's not that different from a flagship model of 6.7 inch, but the view viewable area is up by 60%. By numbers, it is also awesome, but I don't want to, you know, discuss too many numbers here. You can see, you know, it is a, a one to a 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate, E5 material, 7.1 inch, and 1,000 nit brightness at peak. Li Nan, a famous blogger on Zhuhu, told me that this is the best large screen foldable, good enough for video editing. And the color is also so accurate. This is from Li Nan on Zhuhu. He told the truth. You can also give it a try. As I said, the size is 7.1 inch. It offers a 60% larger visual area than a standard 6.5 inch display. It is like a square. Because of the bigger width, the visual area is vast. As business professionals, we often check our calendar on Outlook. In a traditional phone, it is not very comfortable to check your calendar. You have to actually scroll back and forth, up and down. But now on Find N, you can easily check your calendar at a glance. When you read spreadsheets of finance or sales, the look is totally different because of this screen. Let me recall within your one nice grip. If you trade stocks, look at these curves. Totally different feeling. But it seems that the market is not very bullish, so be cautious when you invest. I always uh, tell my team, just show me the curve. That is so different when you feel about it. Under COVID, we often attend virtual meetings. At the virtual meetings, it is a feeling I will never part with. Part with. When you watch the PPT, what is the feeling? You know, if you um, make it this way, the PPT will be blocked by the video window. 
and the image will keep change, keep changing. So that is the merit of the large display. Still, within your one hand, single-handed grip. I've told you a lot about the merits of this large screen. It is exciting to use it. It is graceful to use it. It is not embarrassing to use it in public. I keep telling the team about a classic scenario to test how a product feels. Elevator test. You will never imagine that. Why is that the case? Well, I've got a phone call. How come that could happen? Once you use your phone in the elevator, what do you feel? You are surrounded and watched by a large crowd of people. That is important. I've also used some large affordable screens in elevators. Every time I'm in the elevator, I will feel sorry because I feel like a newly new rich holding such a huge phone in the elevator. Why don't I just hold a tablet to be more straightforward? Now I feel proud, not embarrassing. I'm envied by others. It feels so good to be envied. Screen size does matter. In an elevator, you can try that too. Feel about it. In an elevator, you hold up cool stuff. Don't you feel proud? So size does matter for the screen. When you leave the elevator, you know, fold it, fit it into your pocket. So graceful. What is the feeling of folding it? The gentleness, the sound. You must have heard a story. Once you buy a limousine, what do you want to try? The engine specs? No way. You, you don't want to test drive it. If you buy a million-dollar car, you want to close the door and listen to the sound. It is a fresh yet solid sound. That is what you expect from a limousine. Our team also studied the sound of door closing on a limousine. We want to also make sure that it delivers a fresh feeling when you fold it. Did you hear it? I can do it again. If, if you are not happy, you can do it time and again to relieve the pressure. It's so crisp. Every detail must be refined. To develop a good phone, details must be mastered. The ta, the sound. I can show you and share with you something I like very much. After you use a foldable phone, you must have a pain point. For example, if I'm reading a file, a WeChat message comes. What can you do? Habitually, you want to reply it quickly with your two thumbs on a small screen. But once you close it, shall the screen be dark or lit up? Of course, you want to quickly reply the message. You want it to be on. But in many occasions, you don't want it to be on. You finish reading, you fold it, and put it in your pocket. So you can't anticipate what users want. Then we actually chose to put in something like a switch. There's an alert when you fold it. Within three seconds, as long as you gently slide upward, relay will happen, allow you to reply the message. If you don't slide it, it will be locked up to protect your privacy. You know, adding a switch is the dumbest way to resolve it. I you know, told my team never to do that. The switch is the worst a product manager can come up with. This is a perfect solution. Did, did I, am I so rude <laughs> today? I'm so sorry. Of course, coming back to the foldable screen, white is still a, a new product, innovative product uh, for the early movers. There are many difficulties to tackle yet. What are the difficulties for the industry? In this industry, there's a saying, it is not that difficult to develop a foldable screen. What is truly difficult is to eliminate the crease. There are several barriers of entry. One is the crease. If you fold it 
time and again, how come it won't have a crease? A second concern of the users is the durability. Of course, the third one is the price. I will reserve it to the last and give you some suspense. How can we eliminate the crease? What did our engineering team do in the past four years? What is first and foremost to us to do is to minimize the crease, to make it barely visible. Let me discuss why it creases and how to avoid it. If you fold the paper like this in a U-shape, so the crease, a deep crease, is unavoidable. There is another way to do it. For example, fold it like a water drop. As an ordinary user, your common sense will tell you that there will be no crease. And that is true. But how to create a water drop shaped hinge? That is very difficult. We actually developed the six generations of hinges to eliminate or minimize the crease to make it barely visible. It took us four years or six generations to produce a nearly perfect solution. Uh, that is the flexion hinge. So let me brag about it. It is not written here. So that is uh, the best inbreed in the industry. I didn't say that. It was uh, said uh, by a boss in the hinge industry. This is the best designed hinge solution he has ever seen. So that is why I'm so confident to tell you that. There are 136 components in this one uh, inch. Usually, a uh, hinge will not include more than 100, and the precision level must be 0 0.01 millimeter. It, it is only the one-tenth of the thickness of a hair. In order to eliminate the crease, we have prosecuted more than 100 patents. So that is incredible to do. Just to minimize the crease. We have developed more than 100 patents. This is where we spent our four years of time. How can I showcase that? How can I give you this glossy large screen? I also discussed with my team how to convey the feeling. Without comparison, you can't show the difference. But comparison may be offensive to our I know, appears in the industry. So we made a little trick. We hide the brand. You won't tell who's, who is the vendor, but you can tell the contrast. On the left is an alternative product. There is a deep crease, but on front end, you can barely see it. That is surely the best in the industry as a um, large foldable screen. That is the other phone, right? Oh. This is the latest update. We want to make the trees barely visible. Once it is folded, we want it to be seamless. These are moving parts. You fold it back and forth. So the challenge is huge. Without the close folding, what if the sand comes into the gap? The screen is ultra thin, so the sand may damage that foam. So we need to make it gapless. That is what is extraordinary. So that is the sand. You are too quick. I told my team, I got an idea. We just use an uh, ordinary sheet of A4 paper to test whether it is gapless. Let's have a try. This is a phone of 270 grams. It is already very late for a folded screen. So we just uh, fold it, and this is A4 paper. Uh, it is it amazing or terrifying. You can try too. I make the comparison. For a phone of 270 grams, it won't fall if you fold it like this. And the intensity of uh, unfolding is also so comfortable for you to use. Some uh, media uh, 
representatives also give us some feedback on further optimization. So we made the improvements to make it comfortable to both fold and unfold. Having said so much, I have another highlight to share with you. It also embodies our extraordinary efforts. There are two modes, folded or unfolded. There's a third one, actually. Flex form base. It gives you a lot of unique experience that is only provided by foldable phones. Later, our product manager will give you a lot of details about the improvements it has created for user experience. Find N is yet another uh, milestone of the Find uh, product in 2018, namely the two-track model. It is a structural innovation, but involves a lot of extremely challenging technologies, including the design technologies and the processing technologies. Once unfolded, you barely see the crease. Once folded, there's no gap. And it stands anywhere you want it to. All these are huge challenges. After said so much about the experiences, let's now move on to the barriers for users to adopt it. What are they? Remember? First is crease. Second, durability. Once you think of this kind of screen, you may wonder how can how it can be durable. Is it in defiance of physics? For this screen, we have designed a 12-layer structure as a serene display. On the surface, we have developed a UTG ultra-thin glass, flexible glass. It is glass. Remember, it is glass, but it's ultra thin, as thin as 0.03 millimeters. Imagine that. That is the 120th of the thickness of an ordinary smartphone and glass. It has been tempered with nanometer technology, so it has been much more resilient. To make it flexible and strong, we have also applied our self-developed special material, which is um, ultra-thin stainless steel base with a gradient mesh matrix. So we actually use it as a patented technology uh, with the gradient connections of the holes and the arrangement of the various types of holes. We can give the screen stronger support to test whether it is truly uh, durable. We have engaged the uh, TUV uh, Rhineland. Of course, the result is, of course, another uh, bragging. So we easily passed the test. You know, it survived uh, 200,000 times of folding without crease. What does that give you? Let's do some simple, simple math. According to our statistics, the daily times of folding and unfolding is usually around 75 times. If we just make it 100 times a day, then it gives you five years of wireless folding without visible crease. So that is the guarantee of durability. Of course, we have something even more awesome on your phone. Usually, there were some warnings about where to use it. Now, try to use it above zero degrees Celsius. You must have seen such warnings. But we don't think it is that correct. If you ski, what are you going to do with your phone? So our product, product team challenged extreme. We repeated the test under minus 20 degrees Celsius. After 200,000 times of folding, still there is no damage or crease. Our engineers are so many. Okay. I've talked a lot about the innovations, like the landscape 
ratio, a golden ratio, the fluxion hinge, and the UTG flexible glass, surviving 200,000 times of folding in your grip. One hand is enough to control it. Open, close, you feel it all right. You know, it is creaseless and gapless. So far, I think, in my mind, it is uh, a best ever affordable phone product. That is why I may fail my time management today. We have said so much about this phone. It seems that it is nothing but the job of a product manager, just a definition of a superb product. But this phone is more than that. One hour before this event and added this line. I added because someone may not get it. It is a comfortable phone to use, but you may not realize that all these are empowered and enabled by our hardcore technologies, the f screen, the hinge, and many other things. All these boil down to technology. It delivers such elegant design. Users don't need to worried about the underlying technologies. That is what OPPO does. We are committed to such hardcore technologies. Finally, let me brag again. Once available, it is invincible. If we brag, let me be the biggest bragger. After I experience it, I feel it as the perfect. It is what it is should be. But to make this happen, our engineers have always challenged themselves and the extremes. I'm a perfectionist, but my engineers are always even more demanding than I am. They challenge themselves and refine the product endlessly. Over four years, it is e really easy for me to uh, copy a uh, affordable phone. So easy. To make it really usable and frequently used, we must resolve many difficulties. There are many other difficulties that I have not discussed. Without resolving them, this phone will not be a primary device, like the absence of trees and the achievement of durability, whichever phone it is, a bar type or affordable phone, these are what a phone needs to provide. You can't say, okay, because of this phone is, uh, because the phone is so innovative, please accept it is flawed. We won't tell the consumers that. Innovative as it is, it is held to the bar of a traditional phone in terms of durability. So the absence of trees and the presence of durability are the basic requirements. Then what are the innovative points when we reach them? So Mr. Zhou will, will, will give you more details. Good afternoon. Thank you, Pete, for telling the story of the sixth generation of our affordable designs in the past four years. I was one of the team members. It's my great honor to share with you our product on behalf of my team. In the past four years, my team were constantly subject to challenge. We were asked by everybody the same question. What is a foldable device for? Well, the users did not know what a de foldable device is for until we give them one. If someone told me, I want a faster horse cart. Well, instead of giving him a faster horse cart, I will give him a car. Now, let's take a look at the differences between a horse cart and a car. When you view your WeChat moments or microblog, this is typically how the pictures look on a traditional phone, black bars on top and bottoms. Because camera chips and sensor chips normally support four versus three dimensions, it's not a good viewing experience. If they were shown on 5N, these black bars would be four times bigger. When I view the pictures copied from my traditional phone, I can feel the sharp contrast. 
This is how it looks for video watching on traditional phone. Bullet screens and video are scrambling for space. Very messy. Now on Find N, not only the viewing area is bigger, there is no interference between them. Plus our customized symmetric stereo with dual speakers, you will have both visual and audio enjoyment. This is what it is like for game playing on a traditional phone. Now on Find N, there is bigger visual area. Thanks to our breakthroughs in Athena technology, when fully unfolded, the signal now is 60% stronger than traditional smartphone. Short video is getting more popular now. So you often did that on the traditional phone. But video editing is troublesome on a traditional phone. On Find N, the entire video footage is completely presented in one timeline. This truly liberates the productivity. I had experience of handling the surge of incoming messages. It was so well overwhelming, especially after a long flight. It was virtually, I was virtually bombarded by all the messages. Now with Finan, two pages are presented side by side. Here you have the list and here the detailed information. No need to switch back and forth. Or you can have message and a video call side by side and talk to one on one people. We call this function parallel window. It can also apply to many other scenarios such as news watching and going shopping. The display ratio of the two pages can be adjusted as you like, which is the first time ever in the industry. You can enlarge one side while shrink the other, which is very intuitive. When we drive with a traditional phone as a navigator, we need to switch between navigation, music, and calling functions. It is troublesome and even dangerous. Now, with Finan, three functions can be achieved on a single screen altogether. It is not just a phone in the car, but the central control panel in the car. Making a traditional car a smart one. We are also working with AutoNavi and Chenxun to customize a 3D lane level navigation for Find N, making your journey on highway and elevated roads safer and easier. So these are something unimaginable on a traditional phone. Of course, you may also ask, what else can a foldable device offer apart from bigger screens? Before I answer this question, let's do a math problem of primary students. So Xiaoming wants to prepare a meal. It takes him five minutes to boil water, seven minutes to cut the ingredients, and 10 minutes to cook the meal. So how long does it take for him to finish these three tasks? For a traditional phone, it's an addition. It takes 22 minutes. But for a foldable device, the answer is 10 minutes. Because three things can be done on one screen simultaneously. The core value of a foldable device, apart from having larger display, is, high, is higher efficiency enabled by split screen, which is confirmed in our user survey. Big data shows that users switch 130 times among different apps on a daily basis because their needs and scenarios are complicated. For example, if you want to invite someone for dinner, you're driving, talking, and booking a restaurant together. Three apps are involved. For split screen, it is your handy tool for efficiency enhancement. With split screen on Find N, you can chat and uh, show the display ratio between two apps with a ratio of 18 versus 9. Or you can drag your picture to WeChat to share in your moments. Or you can drag the information to your memo, no need for paste and copy. Or you can drag the picture 
or document to your mailbox and with one click you can send it. Isn't it amazing, perfect and convenient? So it seems that I've talked about everything about split screen. However, when I give the device to users, I find that it is not appreciated by the users. I was just entertaining myself because no one knows how to perform the split screen. It used to be an extremely complicated task on a traditional phone. Let me show you how many steps it takes on a traditional phone. Step one, enter the sidebar. Of course, many people don't even know what a sidebar is. Then you are immune from the split screen. Step two, click editing on the sidebar. Step three, find the app you're looking for among a mass of strange apps. Step four, add it to the sidebar. And then step five, drag it from sidebar to the home screen. So even if you did not commit any mistakes at all, it takes at least five steps. It is so complicated. Do we have an intuitive way to achieve subscribing in just one step? Now watch me. Did you see it clearly? Let me do it again. The gesture is simply elegant and easy. Yes, it takes just one step. So I think this experience is very, very nice. Let me show you again. With two fingers, one swipe, and then split screen is done. We call it two finger, one swipe for split screen. It reminds me of a game that was very popular more than 10 years ago. It's simple and refreshing. You may have played it. Well, now I fall in love with this gesture, swiping with two fingers. V really stress relieving. So is it perfect enough for a product manager? Well, we went to find that most frequent user scenarios are very similar and that every split screen combination is associated with scenario. WeChat plus photo album means moment sharing. WeChat plus TikTok means it's leisure time. Dampin plus Old Navy means it's time to dine outside. So to make the experience more intuitive, we enable our users to save their multi-app split screen combinations. Just tap the dots between the split screen and then you can save the current multi-app split screen combination to the home screen and you can retrieve them later with one click. Isn't that amazing? Well, I would click for I would click for Kip plus music while jogging. Our pursuit for user experience does not stop here. But we further explore the user scenario and we find that even if our users can open two apps with one click, they will still encounter other obstacles. For example, when you plan your journey and you compare ticket prices across different apps, you need to input the same information like the departure place, destination and the flight time again and again before you can compare the results. This repetition is both time consuming and anxiety generating. Do we have a way to streamline these meaningless repetitive work? That's why we have designed a brand new function, one click for multiple searching. Whether you want to buy air ticket or book, not buy, book a hotel room or celebrate the shopping carnival or search for specific information, just input once and you will get the results from different apps for comparison. But still, we're not satisfied. For every scenario, we enable at least three apps. So now you can see the comparison among three apps. So we can enable the three apps split screen 
for most of the scenarios, and I want to thank our third-party apps partner for your support. So these are our three brand new offerings, split screen with two fingers, multi-app split screen, combination saving, and one click for multiple searching. A huge progress in efficiency. Now let's experience a sense of immersion and innovation enabled by bigger screen and split screen. The experience shown in the video depends on another important factor. How many apps are there to support split screen? Previously, 75% of the top 1,000 apps support split screen. Through our system architecture optimization, this ratio has increased to 90% on F front end. Now you can experience split screen as much as you want. We have also made a wider range of in-depth adaptation for the larger screen. The adaptation ratio among top 1,000 apps is 89%, so uh, it's now 80%. So you can have the unprecedented immersion experience with most of the apps. On fine end, we have also specially developed a compatible mode for those applications that have not been adapted for the moment. Top 20 or even 30,000 apps are now compatible with split screen. We are also very much looking forward to the participation of more partners to promote the prosperity and development of the larger screen ecology to create a better experience for users. We have set up Gravity Plan to provide hundreds of millions of yuan in resource support. So now, please make a guess. What is the most frequently used application among all? WeChat or TikTok? Well, neither. It is keyboard setting. This is a basic function indispensable to all apps, which decides whether a device has a good user experience or not. It took us a long time to customize a set of highly immersive and efficiency keyboard modes for bigger displays. First is our Nightbox keyboard and keyboard for numbers, which are deployed on both sides of the screen for users to type in single-handedly. You can choose either side to make or make a switch at any time. The second is full keyboard mode. This is a brand new split keyboard mode with two Gs and a two Vs design that makes it easier and more efficient to use with two thumbs. The third is handwriting mode. People from business community are used to handwriting mode. On a traditional phone, you can only write one character at a time. Now, on fine end, you can write multiple characters without stop. We also find that traditional keyboard setting is unfriendly to one type of users in particular. Our medical practitioners, they are the ones we, we, we owe a lot of thanks to during the COVID-19. Medical terms are too difficult to type in, such as amlodipine, benzoate, or the chemical elements. For this reason, we have developed the word bank of medical and the chemical terms. 
allowing professionals to type faster and more comfortably. I talked about immersive experience enabled by bigger screens, efficient experience enabled by split screen, and adaptation from numerous apps. So now Find N as a foldable device has already an extremely good user experience. It seems that it is all, but I feel that something is missing. With larger screen and the split screen, it is handy and user-friendly, but the underlying logic is still based on traditional phone. Being foldable is something very intuitive, and its core value is not fully represented yet. We believe that a brand new form factor should bring a brand new way of interaction. So we designed the third form factor beyond being folded or unfolded, that is flex form mode. So there are so many surprising scenarios that I would like to share with you. For example, flexible mode for music. You will feel that you are not just listening to music from a mobile phone, but from a phonograph. What an amazing sense of ceremony and atmosphere. It becomes an elegant experience. I can listen for the entire afternoon. Flexform mode for exercise. There's no need to connect your phone to TV or find a device holder to support your phone. Just click, keep, put it in flexform mode, and then you can have a private coach in front of you give you one-on-one -on -one teaching. Flexform mode for a webinar. You can attend online meeting. It becomes an easy job. You may bury yourself in couch, bus in bus stop, and enjoy the freedom to switch between leisure and work at will. Flex for mode for movies. You can enjoy movies whenever and wherever you want, on the plane, train, or in outdoors. You can also adjust the progress, brightness, and volume of the movie just like using the touchpad. Flex form mode for video call. It's completely hands-free and you can talk as long as you like. Here you can have the equal size for both the caller and the receiver, just like a face-to-face -face talk. Now, I talk to my family for at least 10 minutes every day during lunchtime. Flex form mode for picture taking. We find with surprise that Flex from Modes offers a brand new experience for photo taking. It's a device serves as its own tripod. So here's a solution for a century old problem. You can never have everyone show another photo. That problem is solved now. So now with a simple gesture, you can take a picture with anyone you want. No need to ask strangers for help. And the photographer is never missing from the photo. This is a combination of flexform and front camera. When flexform is combined with rear camera, if you attend product release like today or an important meeting, just place your find end on the table and you can re uh, record the entire event easily. FN has two displays, so we make them interact together smoothly to support dual display preview. So if you are taking a photo of your girlfriend, she can see how the shot is set up within the previews on the display, and no more complaint. And you will never worry about the poor quality of the photo taken by your girlfriend or boyfriend. If you're taking a photo of your kids, they will be naturally attracted by the display, so the image won't end up fuzzy. At Flexform mode, we also make 4K HD time-lapse imaging easy and hands-free. Well, this function actually is available in many devices, but it is, read, read, uh, it is seldomly used, less than 1%, because it used to be very complicated. You need to bring a tripod, and you need to um, set up very complicated um, spe spe uh, specifics. Now, with Find N, 
Just set it to flexible mode and select the pre-optimized time-lapse template and you can handle advanced scenarios just like a professional. This is the picture we took on our way. Well, this is very romantic. This is a low angle time lapse shooting. If you are camping outside, taking a vacation during the National Day holiday, if you want to have astrophotography, there's no need to hold the device or your head up for hours. At flex frame mode, lower the degree and the viewfinder will automatically move down shoot stably and produce the work automatically. You can indulge with it for the entire night. The picture was taken by our engineers on the altitude of 3,600 meters. With fine end, you can embrace the stars and cloud elegantly and leisurely. From this exciting experience, you can truly feel what flex mode brings to fine end. It's not a tool, but an artistic expression, representing our aspiration for a more beautiful and a better life. Immersion enabled by bigger screens, efficiency enabled by split screen, freedom enabled by flex form mode, from a test to a must, all because of the brand new experience brought by Fine End. Unfolded and the freedom is redefined. I feel there's something about you, don't you know? Come on, bring me on. Come on, let it blow. You can take me on, so come on, let's go. Oh, you feel it, you feel the light, yeah. Oh, right, just shout it out. Now or never, walk with me. Now I'm gonna make you feel better. Walk with me. Well, from a test to a must, please do remember that punchline. We truly wish that it is a primary device for you. So thank you so much, Will, for your expressive and uh, sincere presentations. You know, many of these functions or features have been used uh, for, by me for two to three months, and uh, there is no way back. You know, these are so handy to use, and they're so fun to use. Of course, I also use the phones of other uh, companies, and there wasn't uh, such a flex form. And then I realized uh, later there was a, such a function, though it was not available at the beginning. You know what I mean. You know, the freestanding does provide value. I went to a theme park in Shenzhen. I took that uh, fake alpha tower from the very low position it was awesome you know uh, there was an, uh, a lady who uh, envied that and I also feel myself with pride the large screen experience is also you know, a thrilling and the CEO of Jiangui is with me when I first met him uh, he was also a portable phone user and the first thing he told me is the same as the others well your screen is fantastic so, you, you know, usually you will have to rotate your uh, phone after you unfold your phone. You know, it's so bulky a phone, you have to also rotate it. You know, the experience is terrible. Therefore, we keep telling you about the merit of the horizontal display or the landscape ratio. That is the right way uh, for the future. I also made a bet with my engineers uh, for 100,000 RMB. So the uh, people are open to all challenges in this company. Uh, you know, this ratio is very hard to adapt. You know, Android is by nature designed for vertical screens. I have to negotiate with all the vendors one by one in order to adapt their a display. So if you have used the applications on this large screen, uh, you will know how smooth the sliding can be. But it takes enormous efforts to make adaptation complete. I made the bet with my engineers. Uh, you know, iPhone, if uh, offering a portable phone, will be surely using this ratio. I trust.
uh, that would be the case. I think that represents the future of foldable phones. I've said so much. There are a lot of um, technical details which I cannot elaborate one by one today. There will be future opportunities. I just told you how useful and uh, beautiful it is. So we have um, provided three colors. The first is the black variant. It has used the new film lamination technique for subtle and a premium effect. Uh, second one is the white option inspired by white ceramic glaze. I now use this one. The other one. How should I call it? It's a purple version. It is a very unique grade of purple. In our survey, in actually this shopping mall, we actually surveyed a lot of users of premium phones. They like this color very much. In the experience area, you can also, you know, take a look by yourself. Initially, we just planned to offer two colors, but so many people like this color. So I did something a product manager should not do, namely offering all the three of them so that we can save our troubles. We decided, I called a shot to launch all the four, three of them. This size is very small. When the phone is folded, once you unfold it, it's large enough. It's both small enough and large enough. With such a small size, we don't want to let go of the features we want. Let's look at the uh, features with a glance. Uh, the uh, Snapdragon uh, 888 up to uh, 12 uh, GB RAM and uh, 512 GB uh, ROM. I will uh, no, not read everything. The battery is uh, 4,500 uh, milliampers. It was surprising to many. How could such a small phone carry such a big battery? But that is what we have achieved. I told my colleagues, for this size, this ratio, the landscape ratio, a golden ratio, it is not the case that others cannot conceive it. It is because they can't make it. The hinge is very demanding for size and space. The battery size is a hard spec you have to hit. And the flagship chip is also very demanding to our technology. Indeed, it takes years of refinement to make the one available to you. Let's also look at what we have made in terms of breakthroughs. There are 10 of them, like the gapless, the golden ratio, small and big enough, the uh, flexion hinge, and the absence or invisibility of uh, trees, the flex form, freestanding. It is also very demanding for the complexity of hinge and the management of space. All of them sound easy, but are difficult to achieve. Can I take a photo of them? Okay. I will stand away so that you can take a photo of the stage and the screen. What is next? What is next then? I checked the time. I overran the agenda. It's already more than an hour. I don't want to be really uh, fast forward. Let me keep the suspense. You know, we must make the phone not no longer just a, a test, but a must. There are several pain points. There must be invisibility of the trees and uh, durability as the basic requirements. There are also innovative features that will appeal to the users. There's another key reason is pricing. You know, this is what's troubling us as well, because the cost is really high. Let's look at the hinge. Guess how much it costs? More than $100. That's phenomenal. It's more than what you expect. It's also more than what I expect. I was surprised when my team told me about that. The cost is also very high for the screen, UTG glass, plus many other innovative features. The cost is really beyond imagination. When we do this product, we made a determination to make this affordable phone a daily phone. 
used by many users. We had a lot of deliberations. At the final moment, I said, OK, I may change the price even one hour before this event. Indeed, uh, 30 minutes ago, the colleagues preparing the slice asked me at the backstage what the price shall be. Then I name a price. We troubled ourselves because we really want the product to be affordable to many and used by many. And we hope that we can actually make a technology for mankind and the image in the world. If we take all the pains to develop a product but used by only few, you know, we are frustrating our own purpose. For this large, foldable phone, Usually, the price will be at least uh, one, uh, 10 thousand, a normal uh, acceptable range is 12 to 13 thousand. But I believe if it is more than 10 thousand, penetration will be difficult. Let me do away with the one. Now you are excited. Actually, let me surprise uh, Tony. Tony even don't know, well, doesn't know now what the price it will be. Then for this type of seven six nine nine. How about that? How about a twelve GB plus five hundred twelve GB? We do all these for no pu other purpose but to make sure that affordable phones will turn from a test to a must. Otherwise, our four years of efforts will be pointless. I also trust that with Oppo opening up this new era, the supply chain will also change and the cost will decline so that our partners and our competitors will move together with us to move this industry forward. Now uh, let me announce the uh, launch of sales. This afternoon at 5.30, the uh, booking will start on all platforms. Then at uh, 10 p.m. 23rd, the sale will begin. Over the past two days, I also sent the uh, message on my moments, the invitation code is ready, I believe the price will really make some difference and trigger some response. For such super flagship, we have provided Opal Care Plus, a very different service package. So it, if you're a diamond member, the uh, cost is one four nine nine, and gold card member one nine nine nine, and the retail price is two nine nine nine, and that will cover cover uh, one accident coverage, one year extension of warranty, and one battery refresh. You, you know, it is very costly. I will not tell uh, how much uh, the punk components cost. Otherwise, people, uh, the vendors may complain. Uh, for example, uh, Samsung may complain about it. So we have also prepared some gifts uh, for the uh, earliest uh, buyers. They are of limited additions. The number is not big. So since it can be used on board, uh, we have developed an in-car phone holder and the protection cover and the wireless charger, all as token of our sincerity to showcase the charm of it to larger audience. We also partner with some uh, trendy venues and a stage a road show in Shanghai from December the 18th to January the 3rd. Then um, also we have also prepared um, Matt vs. Wonder, a gift box as of uh, 10 a.m. on December the 23rd. I'm so shy to say this. You know, this is uh, available on the th on day one. Also on the 23rd, it will be our annual membership day on Tmall. Please join us there and place a order. Tonight we also have a live streaming by hosted by Li Jiaqi. Please uh, do go to his uh, streaming.
and he must have presented better than I do. Okay, so much about this product. And finally, I'd like to say that the tech industry evolves endlessly, but not every company can always stay ahead of the tide. Some companies were successful for a period, but later uh, lose its momentum of innovation and their position in the market within years. So they are abandoned by the users. Innovation is our basic belief and the primary driver of our progress. It is embedded in our DNA and culture. With Find N, we aspire to usher foldable phones into a new era. Finally, I hope you like it. Like our own new Find N foldable phone, smartphone. Okay, see you next time. 感谢各位的到来。So、Oppo Find N launch has now come to its conclusion. Please take your belongings and proceed to the experience area and continue your visit.